Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and let's talk about EIGRP offset lists. So offset lists are a way of adding to a metric to make it look worse than other metrics. So what you could do is you could favor one path over another path. Pretty easy thing to do. So we're on R2, and what we want to do is we want to make the loopback zero, we want to make loopback zero worth uh, worse. Okay, so Okay, if we want to make the metric of loopback zero worse, the R1's loopback zero, let's take a look to see what it is normally. We are looking at the all ones address right there. You can see that is the wonderful number, 409600, 409600. Show IP ERGP topology. You can see here, so that is our number that we're looking at. Okay, so let's do this. Let's copy that to notepad so we know so we can remember this stuff okay so I've copied it to notepad right there it's great now I'm going to set my offset list so to do an offset list let's show you first the syntax so router eigp1 offset list question mark and you can see here it uses an access list or what you could do is you could offset list everything coming in with a zero. Uh, we, we don't want to do that. So we're going to exit out of there. And we'll do access list one. And we're going to do, let's see, access list one permit because we are matching something. Permit all ones. And uh, that's good. Go back to router eidrp one. Start off with our offset list one. And you can see it wants a direction inbound or outbound. So we're going to do inbound. We're changing the metric as it comes into us. And now we have a wonderful uh, large range that we could pick. Let's do uh, something crazy. Let's see. What, what is that? Uh, 1,000. 10. We're going to add 10 million to this metric. Okay. So we've got an offset list. We've got an access list matching it. Let's see if our show IP protocols looks any different. Let's see what we got here. Incoming routes will have 10 million added to the metric if on list one. So it tells you right there that the offset list is set. And now let's see what's happening. Show IP route. We have this number right here. Let's paste it into notepad to compare. And I'll erase the number in front. Actually, let's do, let's show from our EIGRP topology. There you go, that's a better number there. So this is a comparison of before and after. You can see second number has changed as we expected, but the first number 409600, 409600, we add 10 million and it becomes 10,409,600. So it did exactly what we wanted to. So, you know, what's why would we do this? Well, it's very simple. You're making one route worse than the other route. And notice all you can do is add. You can't you can't do any subtraction and there's probably a very good reason why Cisco did that. Uh, probably because Cisco wouldn't want you to subtract too much and go, you know, possibly go into a zero or one and make it better than everything else. So that's probably a very good idea. So all you can do is add stuff. Okay, so that was a very short video on offset lists. Just remember you need an access list first to match a route. And then all you have to do is specify a number of the metric you want to add. So in our case, we added 10 million and changed the metric by 10 million. Thanks for watching.